Hi, I'm Doug Mayhew. I'm here with Wouter Van Voot today. Wouter's in from the Netherlands for uh, the MVP Summit that was this week and also an OpenXML workshop we had. And uh, Wouter has a utility that's pretty popular with the OpenXML developer crowd, Package Explorer. Uh, Wouter, uh, maybe before we get into details, you can tell us a little bit about why you wrote something like this. Well, Doug, uh, first of all, thanks for having me today. Um, well, if you do a little bit of OpenXML development work, you will quite quick, quickly notice that um, you rename file to zip, uh, change some parts, edit some XML, rename it back again to docx or x less x, and that development process is, of course, a bit hairy. It takes a lot of time. So I was like, well, I'm a developer by heart, so let's go ahead and build an application which makes it a bit easier to do so. That's why the Package Explorer was born. So it basically allows uh, editing of packages and browsing through all the elements that you find inside of it. So Perhaps I can give you a small demo of what you can do with it here. So this is basically a replacement for this exercise of rename to zip, double click the zip, look around in it, drag exactly. something to your desktop, make a change, drag it back. All those steps are now collapsed into one little tool. Exactly. Okay. And actually try to make a bit of a common feel for developers so it has a kind of an IDE feel to it. And what you can do here is you go ahead and open up various package parts and it allows you to go ahead and make changes inside these packages, like uh, create new elements. You've got some code completion for you here, so it, it basically makes it easier for you to type the open XML uh, content for you here. It's uh, a lot handier than Notepad for this. Yeah, that's, uh, if you did a little bit of open XML work, you notice that this actually takes a few extra steps if you do it by hand, so this application also allows you to just go ahead and open up the document you can edit it inside Word and it will open it back up again inside the Package Explorer. Well, what you see here, so this application is the uh, Package Explorer. And one of the things I noticed when doing OpenXML development work is that um, when you do it all through Notepad and the Windows shell, for instance, it, it is a quite a difficult process to get it correctly. And there are lots of things you can get wrong, like you have a typing error or stuff like that. And you open up the package again and your favorite editor and it will fail opening because you might have forgotten a letter somewhere. So there are a few things that I wanted to support inside Package Explorer to make the development process and the learning process for OpenXML a bit easier to do so. Then the Package Explorer was born. So it allows you to not only edit the packages and add new parts to it, stuff like that, but you can also use the XSD files which are supplied by the ECMA to validate the content of your package so that you can see whether the stuff that you're creating is actually correct, which is kind of important and that really provides a better editing experience for those of you who are interested in trying to find out more about OpenXML here. So I can just go ahead and take a document, add some new content to it, and you've got a nice button here to open up the file inside the Word editor. So if you do this, you immediately see the results of what you're doing. And one of the things I'm also supporting is if you edit the file inside Word again, you can open it up back again in Package Explorer and you have the latest results of the thing that you've done. So there's a bit of a two-way approach going on here. And I assume since you can validate the parts that you, uh, you get a lot more meaningful information about what's wrong with a part than if you just try to open it in Word and Word says this part is corrupt. Or, yeah, you know. Word, Word tends to say that things are corrupt and not really specify exactly what element is corrupt. So inside Package Explorer, you can do things like right-click on your document and say, well, go ahead and validate this. And you can go ahead and open the validation results and it will show you just exactly the things that you're doing wrong here, like nodes which are not implemented correctly here. So it provides a little bit of an extra experience for the OpenXML developer here. Very cool, and you can use this with any open XML document. We're looking at a Word document, but this could be an XLSX or yeah, anything, right? I've got a, um, another file here available. So I've got a sample presentation, which I did earlier. actually created this one inside the, uh, the PowerPoint application. Very and a cool. few things that uh, this also shows is that if you have a slide, for instance, here contained inside your package, you might find that you have a chart which has uh, some data attached to it. And it is present here as an embedded file. So the data is actually a spreadsheet file. And one of the cool things about Package Explorer, this also allows you to continue oh, navigating yeah. into the embedded files and you can continue to see what's actually going on inside of there. So 
you can just go ahead and save this embedded file to disk, save it out again. So if you want to just go ahead and explore a package this way, you can do that. And here is the embedded Excel file. You can just go ahead, open it up, and you see what is embedded inside your package as well. So just a little bit of an extra feature going on here. So this application, we have a lot of developers who are um, just starting to get into doing open XML development. Um, maybe we could talk a little bit about the structure of this application, just as an example of a typical open XML app. Uh -huh. Well, of course, if you look at the architecture, well, I'm kind of a developer by heart, so I like also like constructing things. So that's also one of the major reasons why I'm building the Package Explorer because it's a nice uh, business application. It has it has a use, uh -huh. and uh, one of the things I try to implement here is a bit of a nice object model. So I've got some separation between uh, well the actual core of the application providing all the features and the separated UI. So the UI is actually not tied to the core of the application. So for instance, what I could do here is start using WPF for the rendering of all the, of all the UI, which would be pretty cool to do. So if there are any WPF programmers interested in doing that with me, definitely give me a call or something. Is, is that, you've got this code on your blogs, this kind of an open source style project, is yeah, that correct? This is absolutely totally open source. There's no license going on here. I want to just go ahead and build a nice application which is useful for people to do some open XML stuff with. And you can also use it as a sample reference application. So for instance, I have a bit of an abstraction for the packaging API, because if you look at a package you might find that there are internal parts, certain parts are referenced externally, stuff like that. So if you find here, there's an document part class, there's an internal document part class, so it's also a bit of a higher level abstraction over the packaging API, so it's actually easier to implement new features for this application. And with new features you might think of, well, perhaps uh, more validation logic being present inside the application, because if you look at schema-based validation, right now I'm using schemas only, like the XSDs which are being supplied by the ECMA, but if you really want to do more advanced validation like perhaps references which you are storing inside the package based on IDs. Perhaps these IDs might not even be valid. So the schema validation is something I'm looking to expand. And the architecture here really allows you to do that as well. So those are things I will be working on in the near future. So you're talking